एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम आर यू अ सी एस सी स्टूडेंट हु इज स्टार्टिंग इंजीनियरिंग ड्रॉइंग कोर्स डू यू इवन नो वाई दिस कोर्स इज टॉट टू यू बी विद मी टिल द एंड टू नो द रीजन वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई एम अनमोल भाटिया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट इंजीनियरिंग ड्रॉइंग फॉर डिटेल्ड कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी यू कैन रेफर टू द बुक बाय एस चांद पब्लिशिंग द लिंक ऑफ द बुक इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंजीनियरिंग ड्रॉइंग बिफोर बिगिनिंग द कोर्स let me tell you that the course consists of five modules in which the first module is introduction to engineering drawing in which there are the topics like usage of this course the conic section part and the scales in the module 2 you will come across the concept of orthographic projections in module 3 there is a situation in which uh, you will study about the projections of solids and then sections of solids uh would be taught in the module 4 module 5 is related to isometric projections so the first and the foremost question of a student who is studying engineering drawing course is why am i studying this course although it is acceptable that a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer is required to study the course but what is the utility of a computer science engineering student to study this course for this you can observe this picture this picture consists of a, a gear in which it is written computer science there is a picture which is written electronics engineering and there is written engineering drawing and there are some question marks and all these are interrelated so it has some meaning what is it basically what happens all the engineers would work in a particular team so whether a computer science personnel or an electronics engineer or a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer needs to work in a team in order to work together on a particular project so the language that ye they use for communication is the language of drawing let's say if a mechanical engineer wants some support in terms of coding for driving the car or for making the driverless car so the code is being generated by a computer science personnel but if the computer science personnel do not have the knowledge of automobiles or he or she is unable to recognize the components using the drawing then the codes are of no use the physical integration of the codes with the components is really mandatory so this engineering drawing is the language of engineers and you need to have the clarity on the concepts in order to communicate with each other in a team then uh, the basic uh, question of the students is the drawing part we have started drawing in class 9th or in class 10th also but what kind of drawing is it so this drawing in general means a graphical representation a drawing is a best media of communication not only in engineering but almost in all the fields let's say if i tell you that you close your eyes and imagine a rectangle so you would have imagined a rectangle in your mind you would not do like this that the letters are flashing if i am saying that imagine a rectangle so i am a g i n e is not flashing in your mind the thing that flashes in your mind is a rectangle so that means we humans understand the language of drawing so what kind of drawing are we studying so basically there is a a clarity which is required on the initial nomenclatures like drawing i have told you that it is any 2d or a 3d view of an object and that is made 
intentionally for manufacturing or not for manufacturing if you are drawing any object and you don't want to manufacture it that is called as a drawing and if you want to specifically manufacture that particular component then that particular drawing is called as an engineering drawing so engineering drawing is a 2d or a 3d view of the object which is meant exactly for the purpose of manufacturing and this engineering drawing is done manually what is engineering graphics engineering graphics is basically a 2d or a 3d view of an object with the purpose of manufacturing it but this is not done manually this is done with the help of computers so in some university they use this nomenclature which is engineering drawing in which they teach uh, the concepts of engineering drawing and that is done manually and in some universities engineering graphics is used in which they teach those concepts with the help of computers and collectively if uh, your university is teaching engineering graphics and drawing that means you will be learning manual concepts as well as the concepts which is done by the computers so here we will be learning those concepts and we will be naming this course as engineering drawing because we will be teaching the manual aspect of the course first to you so engineering drawings basically are used for projections and these drawings are of two types one is the building related drawing and another is the machine component drawing and machine component drawings are of two types orthographic projections and isometric projections orthographic projections are basically the type of drawings in which you see the object uh, when the light is coming perpendicularly on the surface that means the image that you would have obtained that image is of the object in which the light is thrown perpendicularly on the surface for mechanical engineering terms we would prefer front view top view and side view and for civil engineering terms we would prefer the same as plan or elevation and here we will be working in the 2d type environment in the isometric projection uh, basically uh, it is used for the civil engineering uh, term in which it is also called as perspective view and here we make the actual object which is the 3d view of the object that we manufacture or that we produce in the isometric uh, projections coming to the uh, the major the important thing that is being used for drawing is the sheet and there are set certain categories of the sheet namely a4 sheet an a3 sheet an a2 sheet a1 sheet or a0 sheet so the sizes of the sheets are listed here but let me explain the sizes with the help of the language of engineers which is drawing i draw a size which is the a4 sized object you all have seen the a4 sized sheet if i open this sheet in this manner i'll get an a3 sheet if i open this sheet in this manner i'll get an a2 sheet if i open this sheet in this direction and um, this type of size is called as a1 and if i open the sheet in this direction and i'll get a size which is called as a0 type sheet then coming to the basic tools that you will be using for uh, engineering drawing number one tool is this mini drafter mini drafter is a kind of multi purpose tool that has scale and a protector i'll come to this in few minutes and then we have these um, tools which is called as a compass and this one is called as a divider so compass uh, you would use in uh, the engineering drawing course in order to make the circle uh, and this is used specifically for the sheet metal industry in order to draw the circle on the object uh, before coming to the mini drafter let me just show you the compass uh, part the compass uh, has several categories like if you want to draw the circle of a larger diameter then you can use a, a bow compass for extra large you can use a large compass coming to the mini drafter the mini drafter as i told you that it has two scales one is horizontal another is vertical and they are connected to each other with the help of a protector so a protector is there which connects these two scales together 
and there is a knob which can uh, make the two scales to lock and then there is a bar plate and lastly it has a clamping mechanism this clamping mechanism is zoomed in here which shows that it has a groove the table would be placed inside the groove and this screw is tightened with the help of the clamping nut so what happens here it is a kind of multi-purpose tool that means if you want to draw a straight line if you want to draw a vertical line or the line which is inclined at an angle at one stretch or at one go you can do that with the help of this mini drafter the major uh, uh, fear of the student who is studying engineering uh, drawing course is that that he or she is unable to draw a straight line so here whenever this nut is locked and you are drawing a line that line will always be a straight line if it is measured parallel to the base of the table so need not to worry on uh, marking a line in a straight manner if you are working with a mini drafter then there is a procedure on how to fix this mini drafter i have told you that there is a groove you will place that uh, board inside the groove and tighten the nut and you need to look for this horizontal uh, scale that it matches with the edge of the board when it matches with the edge of the board it becomes parallel and when you draw the line it will always become a straight line and you will uh, orthogonally draw the two surfaces once these this nut is being locked then coming to the important thing which is the title block the title block uh, consists of certain information about the student who is making the drawing like this is the region in which you write your name your roll number your class and the name of your college and maybe the title of the sheet that you are making the scale sheet number the faculty who has checked it date and one symbol is there and it has a particular size and above that it would be written that all dimensions are in mm the second thing that we'll be learning here is the pencil as you can see on the board the there are different shades of the pencils if i tell you to observe the shade of the pencil which is the hb pencil that you might have used so the shade is a mediocre shade and when i go from hb to b part the shade of the pencil becomes darker and from hb to h part the shade of the pencil becomes lighter so there are the different types of leads which are being used so majorly hard leads for the construction lines and you can use 4h 5h or 6h pencils for that then soft lead pencils would give you the darker shade which is 2b or 3b or 4b pencils that is specifically used for sketching or artworks and medium uh, lead type pencil is for the general use let's say 1h 2h or hb pencil these are used for the general purposes in engineering drawing then there are certain miscellaneous requirements which are which is the sheet holder and the sheet holding clamp the sheet holder is a uh, is an equipment in which you place your sheet and the clamps which are used to tighten the sheets with the board overall uh, list of equipments that you would be using in this course would be drawing board that would be specifically available drawing sheet i have told the details of the drawing sheet initially then you have mini drafter the instrument box that consists of compass divider then scales protector then you need to have the pencils which are 1h 2h or hb pencils then eraser drawing clips and a sharpener for performing these uh, for uh, performing or for making the objects uh, in this engineering drawing course with this we come to the end of the first part of this video wherein we learnt about the details of engineering drawing and also uh, learnt about the components which are required for making the drawings for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to this book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you
All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.